Hi, Dan from Gear Diary. Today we're going to take a look at the Uni 3 wood-fired oven. This is a product with an MSRP of just under $300. When Perry did a review of an earlier version of the Uni, I was intrigued. Um, the pizza he made actually looked pretty great and apparently tasted delicious. And I knew that I wanted to get my hands on one at some point. Now they've come out with the Uni 3 and they were kind enough to send me a review sample of it. So let's take a look at what's different and then I'm gonna actually try to make some pizza using the Uni. So what's different about the Uni 3 is a couple of things. Number one, it now has an insulated body so that it actually will maintain the heat and the consistency of the heat better than ever. It has three legs, one here and one here and one here, so it's now sitting on a tripod instead of four legs, so it gives you actually more stability. A tripod's gonna be more stable, and the legs fold under if you're storing the uni. The chimney now comes off, so if you're storing the uni, you can take the chimney that way, and then when you're ready to, to make a pizza, you just clip it into place, up and ready to go within a couple of seconds. And then finally, there's a different system back here for the, the pellets. You put the pellets on this tray, light them up, put them in, and then you add pellets into here as it heats and it then works that way. And then the cap for the chimney actually is your pellet scoop as well. So we're gonna fire up the uni. As I said, it comes in at just under $300 MSRP, and uh, we're gonna see how it, how it works. So I've put the pellets in, and I'm actually gonna try this method, which is I've got this torch lighter through the side and I'm starting to see some of the pellets start to heat up. Okay, so it's fired up and while it is heating up, I'm going to actually prep the pizza. Um, I took the easy way out this time. Uh, we just got back from a trip. So um, I actually got pre-made pizza crusts. So these were in the refrigerated section of the, uh, of the grocery store. Um, got the pizza crust. little dusting of flour. Um, I wish I had cornmeal, but I don't. But a little dusting of flour on the bottom. Spritz of olive oil, just for flavor. sauce and again I'm doing this easy way grated mozzarella so just uh, liberally all of the pizza and in the future I'll experiment and create my own and make my own dough, but for now I just thought instead of ordering a pizza delivered, why not make one with the uni and do the review at the same time. So that's it. I'm going to put this stuff upstairs. See if the uni is... Oh yeah, it's going really well now. Oh yeah. You can see the stone is heated up big time. Okay, so um, we're going to put a pizza in the oven. So here's the pizza. So it's in and we're going to give it about 30 seconds on this side. Now I know you're not supposed to do this, but I can't help it. Oh, 
the cheese is already melting. Probably time to turn around. Wow, this thing is hot. Oh, the crust is already out. Already golden brown. That's in about 30 seconds, so I'm gonna give it another 20. This thing gets really, really hot and it cooks really, really fast. Oh. And there you have an absolutely gorgeous pizza. I like this thing a lot.